Hey guys, welcome to Fem Talk. Clearly there's a bunch of new faces here. I go by the name of Alberta. Miss Lee. Nikki. Okay, and we're basically here just chop some shit, right? Mm -hmm. into this uh talking about everybody's favorite topic in the community cheating <laughs> um so have any of you ladies been cheated on oh yes <laughs> the competition <laughs> like <laughs> do you want to tell your story first okay so, <laughs> all right so cheating i feel like okay there was a situation where i was being cheated on but i was being told that i am the cheater you know guilty conscience oh, yeah, like reverse the, psychology that whole thing mm -hmm. so i was being cheated on with a girl that she claimed was her friend never met this friend never saw this it's friend. always the damn friend always the, the one you never friend. can see the, okay. i could never see her never met her nothing like that but i met all the other friends i was introduced to all the other friends but mm -hmm. not this friend so i was like what's so special about this friend mm -hmm. that i can't meet her mm -hmm. And I was never given an explanation, but I only knew that I was being cheated on, like, after the relationship because she ended up dating that girl. Oh, yeah, God. side chick turned wifey. <laughs> <laughs> it has to be minty sometimes, I guess. But, um, Why like this? I can't. So I have a very similar uh, story to you, mm -hmm. and I think the thing that burns the most is that me and this person lived together, mm -hmm. and this person brought set ting to my yard several times oh, okay Jesus. um however she would always tell me when she would step out so i'm kind of like a low-key dumbass you know what i mean because she would come and be like oh yo like i did this i did this i did that which i guess we can also talk about like what are some things we consider to be cheating because mm -hmm. maybe these things you guys wouldn't think they're cheating and i'd sit here and be like oh, okay you promise to change yeah i'm gonna change what a change there. <laughs> They're basically allowing them to treat you that way. Because I swear all of our stories are the same. Like for me, the only time I've ever been truly, truly cheated on, it was a best friend. Oh. Who was a girlfriend. And same thing, I was never allowed to meet them. If I was in the same location that the girl was coming at, she was on the other side. It was a, oh no, it's too awkward. I just, you know, she's super overprotective, da 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 But she knows your, your, your wifey. She knows your wifey. And then you find out that, no, I'm not. And not only that, but I was a side chick. So, okay. Oh, this is why sometimes, sometimes, you know, you, you'll think, oh, you guys are just doing too much. Mm -hmm. Like, why can't I have this friend? Why can't? No, nah, because you guys can't be trusted. That's what it is. You guys are snakes. Period. Sneaky. But what do you guys consider cheating, though? Okay, outside of, like, sexual, physical contact, mm -hmm. I feel like if you have a mental connection with that's this person, worse. that's the worst form yeah. of cheating. Because it's just like, I'm no longer the person you run to when you're having a bad day. And once I feel like somebody's competing literally with your heart. No, I'm not competing. Like, you don't compete where you don't compare. And <laughs> don't compare, I'm sorry. But that's the worst form of cheating for me. Yeah. Like, emotional attachments. Like, you bring her, if you have a child, like, you bring her on a child. Like, shit like that. Like, if I bring a girl around my son that hasn't met my girl... That's Red flags, baby. Red yeah. flags. That's it. Social like, media. Oh, very good question. Because I see people fight over and you like so and so's picture and that's okay. That's why I'm yeah. so sorry. Uh, okay, to that. If you, if yo, <laughs> I was talking to <laughs> no, I was talking to this girl I met on Tinder and she actually put up like a caption like mm. that talking about um flirting over social media and cheating over social media she's like oh if you put a heart eyes under this under a next studs picture then you're cheating i'm like fam what if the thing looks good like i yeah. can't just show some love however let's play devil's advocate because my whole thing is you don't do anything that uh, like embarrasses me so if you know or if everybody knows that you're my girl uh -huh. and then you go it could be okay an influencer from like uk that i know you'll never meet i don't care but if it's molly sue from down the street that we already know has been flirting and posted this booty picture because she wants those likes uh -huh. and then you everyone knows that you're my girl and you're under her comments doing a b and c 
that's low key disrespectful. It might not be cheating, yeah. but it's a conversation that needs to be had. Uh -huh. And if it continues, all I know in my mind, that ends up sliding into yeah, because most of our relationships, guys, in this community starts off with me, anyone. Oh, oh, pick me. Oh, I know, I know me, me. Mm. So yeah, no, I totally agree with you that the relationship starts on social media, mm -hmm. but then I kind of feel like maybe that might be playing a little bit on your own insecurities that you may have. Oh, um, shots it's, it's not really shots fired, Sorry. but my <laughs> thing is like, if you are secure in your relationship mm -hmm. and you know that so the thing where you have is good, it does not matter that your girl might be underneath somebody else's pictures because at the end of the day, you guys... You guys are good. Your connection is good. Yeah. They didn't even her eyes under your pictures. Fire flames. <laughs> the wet, wet emoji. Yeah. All time of things. But as a girl. So this is kind of like. So it's kind of like you don't want them doing the kind of things that they would do that with you. Yeah. Like, these are just comments. It's just, it's just, it's just, it's, it's one thing if it's me and you are looking at a girl commenting, da da da, mm -hmm. cracking the shit, cool. But if it's. I know this person and you have the ability to give them that leeway where they start to feel comfortable enough to even slide in your DMs, that's a whole nother conversation. I, yeah, I, yeah. I, I think we're going to have to agree to disagree here, but why don't you guys let us know what do you think? Do you think that cheating over social media and leaving it's emojis amazing. is a thing? It's Comment a down thing. below. We will be right back. I hate myself the more I speak. I speak on how I hate myself. The strongest citrus have me weak. Rolling, I can't pace myself. Say it's a different day like I trace myself, lace myself. Wilding on this island, not even trying to save myself. Hey, how you doing? I ain't doing good. I've been drifting, I'm slipping. Okay, so we're back from a break and I have one question. What is it? You stayed with your cheater. We're aware of your cheater. So do you think you can change a cheater? Here's the thing. I just believe that, that like... <laughs> yeah, like I can I explain? Can I explain? Please. Okay, Let me explain. I honestly feel like everybody is a good person. They just do really shitty things. And sometimes you just need to, you know, prompt certain people. So with this particular person, my heart was just a little too soft. Still a little too soft to this person, but I really felt like you just didn't get enough nurturing. You don't have really good role models or, or examples of what a healthy relationship looks like. So it's like, I wanted to give you that opportunity to like fix up yourself, right? So it's like, the fact that you even came and told me that you did this, I'm looking at it like, you could have lied to me. You could have kept this a secret because there's no way that I would have known if you didn't share this with me. So maybe you're trying to change. No. But then it happened one time and it happened two times. And honestly, I thought I could, but I couldn't. And I don't think that you could change a cheater. No. It's I'm very yeah. sad it took you that long. <laughs> a, whole, a whole goddamn year. And we lived together while all of this was happening. But, you know, whatever. <sighs> See, I didn't take, I didn't bear anybody out of this, so there's no reason as to why I should be taking care of you and nurturing. I get it. No, okay. Relationships are nurturing, guys. I'm a lover, not a fighter. <laughs> However, I just think that if you show me that you don't respect me, there's no reason why I should continue to show you that respect and trying to wait for you to change. Because yes, a, che a cheater cannot be a cheater for the right woman. However, if I'm not the right woman, why am I wasting my time to take care of you so that you can go be better for somebody else? Whereas I can just get something great from the jump sheet. But then that could be why I'm single because, like, <laughs> my standards are here. Like, I just, but it I makes can't sense. Yeah. yeah, no, I agree. You're over here making up your face. Like, wait, <laughs> how do you have to I, say? Know. I don't have nothing to say because. Do you think you can I, change a cheater? Okay, backside, okay. Thank you. You can't <laughs> change a cheater. I and that. once I know you have history of being a cheater, listen, I've watched someone cheat on their girlfriend for three years. Jesus. And it's like, what? what is the next girl gonna think of you like she mm -hmm. thinks that if you can cheat on your long time um partner of three years i'm gonna come along in three months and change no it doesn't it work. happens it does happen it does happen because what? Oh. for the right girl, i'm gonna be guess. that person know. that's like i need to see your phone i'm sorry like i need to like because i know what you do mm -hmm. i'm gonna keep tabs on you and then it's like if i have to keep tabs on you why am why, i why are we exactly yeah. so it's just like cheaters they ruin themselves but you you have a type, no? Because you tend to stay with studs. Am I wrong? Am I making the assumption? Sure? Okay. So do you find that studs cheat more, though? I mean, I've only dealt with one stud that cheated, 
and she cheated because her ego was fucking like this. Yeah. And she just felt like she, cause she always used to tell me like, oh, you're gonna leave me, you're gonna break my heart, da da da. Because you know, I look fucking good, like duh. <laughs> Like, oh, I don't yeah. blame you. Oh, I don't so blame good. you. I don't know. I find that, like, because I've dated both femmes and studs. More studs, unfortunately. However, you know, if the right femme comes along. You know? I However, I find that femmes, yeah, Femme can cheat cheaters. a lot more because of the whole idea of, like, you, nine times out of ten, I've seen it from the other side, and you can manipulate the situation. Uh-huh. Am I wrong? I, I feel like you're disagreeing with me. Just say it. <laughs> I don't think either party cheats more than the other. I think it's equal. Um, I haven't, because per- I've never dated a fan, mm-hmm. so I've never, ha- I've only had one person cheat on me. Maybe, maybe two. Like, it depends. Like, it depends. No, I don't know. Yeah, me too. But I have, I have fan friends, mm-hmm. and I watch them do some dog shit. And I'm just like, wow that's terrible but then i will hear stories of like what their studs are doing to them mm-hmm. so i kind of feel like it's a two-way street it kind of maybe gets into that tit for tat thing where it's like oh you cheated on me so i'm gonna do it back to you yeah. and then it's this really toxic negative cycle and then everybody's front is just touching everybody's mouth oh, and it's just the mess kissing cousins. <laughs> i love that term <laughs> kissing cousins. i cannot deal like i can't deal with either of you what? so it's the worst I'm on the big screen They recognize that I'm a real OG Now everybody wanna come and claim me I recognize when they couldn't see me They recognize me when I'm on the big screen They recognize that I'm a real OG Now everybody wanna come and claim You know what's the worst? Is It's not just cheating But it's when you live with your cheater You guys cohabitate You share a home, a happy home at that, or so you think. Have any of you guys lived with your partners? Yeah. I mean, no, I do. With. Oh, you don't live with your partner? No. Oh. I mean, I'm, I'm working on it with my current partner. Like, we're looking for places and shit, but I've never done it because I'm... Yeah, you're smart. smart. <laughs> <laughs> you, you're, you have common sense. I've done it. I've done it, and I've had them live in the house with my mother, and it was a shit show. Oh, so they lived with, with you and yeah. your parent. Okay. With me and my parent, my God-fearing parent that would still call her my best friend, would walk into us having sex and everything. And the girl would decide to, you know, go cheat, come home, do whatever she would do with me. God knows if she even washed her front in the process. So, oh yeah, goodness. I've learned my lesson. It's a no-go. Unless both of our names are on it, mm-hmm. it's I'm not doing it. How soon after dating did you guys oh. live together? <laughs> Lesson six magic question. <laughs> Lesson Less six, six months? months. Like like three weeks? Like okay, so she was already within the first week. She was already like staying in my house all day long. But then it became official official within like the first maybe two, three months. Okay. I know I have a problem. But I learned my lesson. I would never. So for me, I so for me I lived with all of my exes it's like the last one but it was like a semi-living situation but the first one it started off like at my mom's house um she literally would just come over and never leave the girl left her left from work came to my house i had dinner ready for her when she come home and all of that good stuff and then we moved out together and it was great i personally really enjoy living with my partner um that was the one situation that i don't really regret because like I had taken the time to get to know her before we went and lived on our own. The second one, though. Okay, the second one. We're gonna save that for the next episode because okay, I didn't so need you're, to trying to feelings. you're trying to spare feelings. I'm trying to be. I'm trying to be the peacekeeper in this situation. Wow. So, all right, guys. So <laughs> I guess that's it. You have to stay tuned for the next episode. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you next time. Bye, guys. <laughs>